We can never be successful unless we apply certain principles mentioned in these two books. In essence, they are the same message, but the way they are spoken is different. Before we start, do me a favor and hit the like button, subscribe so you keep it locked in here on my channel. In Inner Engineering, Sadhguru talks about when we experience pleasantness in the mind, we call that peace. When we experience pleasantness in the body, we call it health. When we experience pleasantness in our emotions, we call that love. When we experience pleasantness in all our energies, we call that ecstasy. Here's the tricky part. When we experience pleasantness on the outside, we call that success. But if you think about it, how many days in your life that everything around you happened exactly the way you want it to? Not so many. If you say every single day happens exactly the way you are, you're either a liar or a psychopath. So if our inner pleasantness is waiting on the outside surroundings to be pleasant, this is not the most efficient way. What we need to do is cultivate pleasantness within first. In the body domain, the mind domain, the emotional domain, and the spiritual domain. When we have pleasantness within, as we go through our day, we cannot help but produce pleasant results in our surroundings. And we cannot help but create effectively. What what about the seven habits? What does it say about success? Well, instead of calling it inner pleasantness, it calls it private victories. So the first three habits are being proactive, which is subordinating our emotions to our values. So instead of reacting to the environment, we need to react based on our values. If I value courage and gratitude, whatever happens and my emotions spike up, what I must do is subordinate that emotion to my values and act in courage and in gratitude. The second habit talks about beginning with the end in mind. So thinking when you're 90 years old, sitting on your rocking chair, what are you gonna think about looking back at your life? Are you proud? Are you happy? Do you feel pleasantness within? Or are you filled with regret? Because you did not follow your values, you did not pursue your goals, because you reacted to whatever was happening in your surroundings. The third habit is putting first things first. When you're scheduling your day, did you take care of your health? Did you take care of your mind? Did you take care of your emotions? Did you take care of your spiritual domain? When you take care of yourself, then you cannot help but produce the golden egg each day. If you haven't watched the video of the story of the goose that produces the golden egg, I will link it for you in the description. Go check it out, it's very interesting and it may help you a lot. The rest of the book talks about how when we have these first three habits in place and achieve private victory, then we can start practicing the other habits that will produce public victory working with others and that is based on seeking first to understand then to be understood thinking win-win and finally synergize now if you don't have the private victory in place you're gonna find it difficult to seek to understand because when we seek to understand we give up our own paradigm our own model of the world for the time that we're listening to the other person if we get lost in the other person's paradigm we may find a hard time coming back to our own paradigm and we will not be able to achieve synergy and public victory the interest the interesting part is, both books talk about meditation. Can you believe it? This book, professional book, and this is a spiritual book? Well, the simplest form of meditation and the one that will have immediate impact on you whenever you practice it is observing your thoughts and feelings. You can focus on your breathing and as you do that, thoughts will come and emotions will come. That's the natural way. Go back to focusing on breathing. You will find more and different thoughts coming and more and different feelings coming. Let them go and focus on breathing. And that will increase your awareness and will teach you that you are not your thoughts, you are not your emotions, but you have thoughts and you have emotions. It's gonna increase your power and ability to subordinate your emotions to your values. It's gonna increase your power to cultivate pleasantness within. If you like this material, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Really, I want to hear it. And I bet you will love this next video.